So most of you probably should know what rigging is. Rigging is putting the bones uh, and the controllers into a mesh to allow the animators to move it. So generally, well not generally, really, um, rigging rigs characters, but rigging also rigs props. Uh, so anything that moves is called a prop. Anything that doesn't move is, is, is environment. So there's a defining difference in terms of the pipeline. Um, but most people kind of know rigging about, you know, these, what you see on the screen here, rigging a character, rigging a face rig, rigging so a quadruped or, <coughs> you know, or, or a character. And there are kind of two areas to rigging. And really in the bigger companies, these, are, these can be split up. So in one area, um, it's about creating the, um, the deform rig. So the deform rig are the bones inside, you know, these, these characters that kind of move and push and pull the mesh around. Um, and it's about working to make sure that, you know, the creases work well, that the hard areas like the shoulders don't look funny when they're moved around. And it's, that's, a, you know, it is a little bit more of a sort of technical area is the deform rig. And then the second part to it is the control rig. So the control rig um, is what you see here on the screen are all the kind of, are all the controls that live outside that. And they're the ones that the animators actually animate on. You know, they're the ones that they key. So there's, there is a bit of the creativity side with that. Now rigging works very closely with animation. I always think it's great for animators to understand rigging as well. So they can, you know, understand what's happening underneath and not have to kind of, or not demand something that might, might not be possible or, um, you know, can understand why things are working, how they're working the way they are. But look, rigging, there is so much to do there and there is so much kind of of both the technical and the creative that it's just, Look, it really suits. It really suits people who, who like that kind of minuscule detail. Who can, you know, want to get things perfectly, especially around for facial rigs. You know, if you're looking at kind of something moving, moving on the eyebrow, and you want to make sure that there's a little bit of skin slightly, minusculely moving on the edges of the kind of face. It's just, you know, it's a it's a great department for people who are perfectionists. You know, who want to get things just right. The tiniest uh, detail. The tiniest detail, exactly. I mean, look, that can also lead to you sort of like you can go down that rabbit hole and never come out again because there's, you know, there's a saying basically a rig is never finished. It's never finished. It's never, you know, you just, you're, you're always handing a rig over at sort of like 98%. Um, and then you can spend the next two years on that last 2%. Um, but it's fun. So, you know, I think it's good to understand rigging so you can understand the difficulty and also the, you know, how, how beautiful it is when it works well.